alternative payment platforms, trade partnerships, and currency revaluations, Brics is paving the way for a new global financial order. Historical events often evolve in unexpected directions, allowing certain moments to become pivotal in shaping global events. The Brics summit held in Kazan, Russia, did not immediately rewrite the financial order but it undoubtedly marked a significant step in the transformation of the global financial landscape. As the collective influence of BRICS now expanding with new members grows, the summit reflected the Group's increasing ambition to challenge Western financial dominance through the creation of alternative financial structures. This movement also signals an impending revaluation of currencies RV across multiple regions aligning with the broader vision of a global currency reset GCR. The Kazan summit demonstrated that BRICS, originally composed of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, is no longer content with being a mere economic club. With the inclusion of 13 new members from Africa, Latin America, Central Asia, and Southeast Asia, BRICS is transforming into a platform that fosters a new financial framework one that bypasses the restrictive conditions of the IMF and World Bank. This shift indicates that the BRICS coalition is establishing the foundation for global currency rebalancing, leveraging sovereign payment platforms, trade partnerships, and new financial infrastructures to reduce dependence on the Western-led financial order. A long road to financial independence, the battle against IMF and World Bank hegemony. One of the most important outcomes of the Kazan summit was the Group's commitment to wean the Global South off the IMF and World Bank. The BRICS digital investment platform was launched to facilitate funding for developing nations without imposing structural adjustment policies policies that have long been criticized for perpetuating debt dependency and economic instability. Under the leadership of Dilma Rousseff, the new development bank NDB aims to offer an alternative financing mechanism that is not tied to Western political agendas. This financial independence is crucial for nations seeking freedom from the conditionalities attached to IMF loans, which often force governments to adopt austerity measures that stifle economic growth. Additionally, the BRICS Grain Exchange promises to introduce transparent food trade practices helping many Global South nations secure their food supply without relying on Western markets or being subject to unilateral sanctions. However, achieving consensus on these difficult financial matters remains a challenge. The Kazan summit highlighted the complex political dynamics within the group, with Brazil's veto of Venezuela's membership drawing criticism from both members and partners. Despite such hurdles, the expansion of BRICS with countries like Saudi Arabia, Nigeria, and Turkey expressing serious interest shows that momentum is building toward the creation of a new financial order and a global currency reset. The expanded BRICS and coalition serves as a counterweight to Western financial dominance, opening the door for greater financial cooperation across regions. This is particularly relevant as the coalition pursues alternative currency frameworks paving the way for currency revaluations RVs across multiple countries and supporting the global currency reset. The new infrastructure for global currency reset, BRICS clear and beyond. The BRICS nations are aware that shifting away from the US dollar's hegemony will require more than diplomatic declarations. At the Kazan summit, there was significant discussion around BRICS clear a sovereign payment system designed to facilitate cross-border transactions using local currencies and digital instruments. This platform aims to reduce the reliance on SWIFT the international payment network dominated by Western interests and offers an opportunity for BRICS nations to experiment with currency diversification and gold-backed instruments. While BRICS Clear and the NDB represent promising steps, the financial restructuring process will not happen overnight. The unit project a concept discussed during the summit envisions the creation of apolitical money anchored in a basket of BRICS currencies and gold reserves. Although still in development, such a framework serves as a model for countries seeking to protect their economies from currency volatility and external pressures. 
When successfully implemented, these initiatives will initiate currency revaluations RVs across the global south, reflecting the economic realities of a multipolar world rather than the interests of a single reserve currency, in alignment with the global currency reset. The expansion of BRICS to include strategic players like Saudi Arabia, Turkey and Indonesia brings additional financial weight to the coalition. Saudi Arabia, with its vast wealth and influence in the energy sector, could be a key player in stabilizing a new financial order. Russia and China's mediation of disputes, such as the Ladakh normalization between China and India, also underscores the political cohesion necessary to sustain these financial ambitions. The connectivity initiatives highlighted during the Kazan summit further demonstrate how geoeconomic integration can facilitate global currency rebalancing. Projects like the Northern Sea Route and the International North-South Transportation Corridor INST promise to enhance trade flows between Eurasia, Africa and Asia, offering new pathways for economic cooperation without relying on Western trade routes. This increased connectivity may also facilitate regional currency settlements, strengthening the case for an eventual global currency reset. Challenges ahead, consensus and the path to 2025. Despite the momentum generated by the Kazan summit, significant challenges remain. Achieving consensus among a diverse group of nations with different economic priorities will require diplomacy and flexibility. The disagreements within the Brazilian government caught between Western influence and BRICS ambitions highlight the internal obstacles that the coalition must navigate. Looking forward, the Rio G20 summit and Brazil's BRICS presidency in 2025 will be key moments to assess the coalition's progress. The timing of the next BRICS summit in July 2025 midway through the year creates concern about the effectiveness of the group's agenda setting. However, a proposal to hold a wrap-up session at the 2025 G20 Summit in South Africa could provide a more structured timeline for advancing BRICS financial goals. As the BRICS coalition grows, its ability to reshape the global financial landscape depends on the successful implementation of alternative payment systems, financing platforms, and trade corridors. The Kazan summit demonstrated that the group is serious about moving beyond symbolic declarations toward creating tangible financial alternatives. Yet, the transition to a multipolar currency world will require patience, innovation, and political will. The bottom line, the emergence of a global currency reset the BRICS summit in Kazan did not mark an immediate financial revolution but it set in motion a process that could reshape the global financial order over the coming years. With new members, alternative payment systems, and expanded trade networks, the BRICS coalition is preparing to challenge the dominance of Western financial institutions. Platforms like BRICS Clear and the NDB demonstrate that currency rebalancing and financial independence are now serious priorities for the coalition. As the world moves toward a multipolar economic future, the success of BRICS will depend on its ability to maintain unity and create sustainable financial alternatives for its members and partners. If the coalition can overcome internal challenges and continue building on the momentum from Kazan, it is poised to play a leading role in the global currency reset that many have anticipated. For now, the high speed multinodal train toward a new financial order has left the station and the Global South is on board.